Is your HDMI connection not working on your Windows 11 computer? Well, in this little tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve this issue. The first and most obvious thing is of course to check the connection. See if you can unplug and plug it in again and see if it detects the screen or monitor or if it doesn't work. If it didn't work, find your remote and click the source button. There you will find different sources. There are usually several HDMI inputs. Try switching to another one and see if it works. You can also try some of the other sources if you are not sure it's an HDMI. Now we're going to right click the Windows button inside the computer. Go to Device Manager. Click that. Inside Device Manager, you will expand Display Adapters. Inside the Display Adapters, you will find your graphics cards. Right click them and select Update Driver and search automatically. Do these for all of the Display Adapters here. Now you may need to install some drivers properly. Please check a tutorial in the description for that, where we will be installing the drivers from scratch. Now you will go to Windows Updates, because some of those drivers can be available from here. So go into Windows Updates, search it up and check for updates. Let it install the updates that you find. If this didn't work, then please check the description and go and watch my how to install NVIDIA drivers um, clean install uh, and also AMD driver install, if you have that. If that didn't work, just try and click Ctrl P and you will see a little screen appearing where it says duplicate, extend. You can try and duplicate or extend because it's possible that you accidentally set it to PC screen only and that wouldn't show up. Sometimes the drivers won't appear until you do hard reboot. Hold in your restart or start button on your PC for 15 seconds. When 15 seconds has gone, which you'll see on the timer, you just release it and you can start it again and you'll see if the drivers appear. It is also possible that you have damaged your HDMI connection. Please check the connection on the computer, on the TV, the connection itself and you will see if there are any dirt or damages. Try to clean that up. Um, also try and see if this cable works on any other device. It may just be the cable. So do check the cable to see if there are any damages and see if it works with another cable, if it just won't work. If everything didn't work that you have tested so far, you might need to do a manual driver update. Check on your computer to see what model you have and then you can go to the support page of your brand and write in the model number so you can find drivers and manuals. And there you can write in the serial number which is usually under your computer. There you find your model, just search for your operating system or select the closest one, Windows 10 64-bit for example, and scroll down and see if you find anything HDMI related. Uh, if you have a stationary computer, please watch my tutorial on how to find your stationary computer's motherboard model number, which you will need to type in uh, into the manufacturer if you are on a stationary computer. Uh, if you don't find anything HDMI related here, you will need to try and download the chipset driver. So select the standard latest chipset driver and install that. If everything that I've shown you did not work, you can try and update BIOS. Update BIOS might be a little bit risky, but 
uh, if nothing worked, it may be the thing that you need to do to actually solve the problem. You can ask someone uh, in your close family who knows how to do this, or you can try yourself, but there is also a risk involved in installing a BIOS update. In any case, I hope some of these tips has helped you solve your HDMI connection issues, and if it did, please leave a like. This is your host, Jim Odesim, and we're signing out.